This van almost lit on fire the other day. You can kind of see the valve cover gasket is leaking and uh, going right onto the manifold. So, uh, putting oil onto the manifold so it's smoking and it almost lit on fire. It was smoking. Like, I don't know. It was filling the engine bay pretty much with smoke and uh, not. It just wasn't very good, so I'm going to replace the valve cover gasket. Well, I pulled the uh, front valve cover gasket off, and uh, it has a crack in the seal. And I haven't really looked over it much else, but uh, yeah. That looks pretty much normal. Well, I got it all put back together, and now I need to see if it leaks. Well, I ran it for a while and um, let it sit, and so far, no leakies, which is awesome. Now I'm going to put a uh, light bar on Josh's formula. Well, I got it put on. It's mounted through here. I didn't have a drill, so I couldn't drill any holes. There was holes here already, so I just bolted this aluminum plate on and then uh, bolted the light onto this and it's pretty sturdy. I mean, you know, it bounces a little, but and then the wire runs back here, up and through here, and then there's extra wire here and you'll see why in just a second. <laughs> and then the power comes from battery, goes along here, up, under this, through here, and there's a junction in here, and I don't have a switch, so uh, I'll show you what I did. This is beta right now, okay, like, so don't judge it. But I just took two of these, this kind of connector, and you stick them together like that, and uh, it works like that, and the other one is connected under here. And it is pretty decently bright. But I need to aim it now. Okay. Ready? Boy. It actually looks about right. Yeah? Could probably go up just a little bit. Okay, that's gonna be way too high, I'm pretty sure. Um. I feel like right there's probably about where I want it. Well. Right. I'm gonna show you that light. Once it gets dark, it's not dark yet. And uh, Josh got some rock and he's spreading it out. And it's really bright. It's a little bit windy too. The next few days are gonna be kind of windy, so sorry. But yeah, Josh bought rock apparently and now he's spreading it because we really needed rock. It was getting really muddy, especially where we dug the trenches over the driveway. Like here and stuff. But, yeah. Now he's making more of a parking over by the shed for trucks and stuff. I'm sure you basically can't even see me, but you can hear my voice, which is good enough. And I'm gonna show you how awesome this light is. So, little 15 inch light bar. Whee! Yeah, definitely bright. And it lights nice and up in the trees and everything. But yeah, definitely nice and bright. Well, today we're going to uh, clean the chicken pen. Because it needs cleaned very bad. Do you guys need a clean pen? And because they're getting sick. And uh, uh, it's coccidiosis, then Ava wants the pen cleaned out really, really well and then and then it'll just be better if the pen is clean. Y'all ready for this? Ready and boom. Hey chicks, what do you think? What is going on in that tiny brain? Nothing.
Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> hey girls, what do you think? Got nice clean pan, clean nesting boxes. Now no being sick anymore. All of our little chicks are scared all the way over in that corner. They're just sitting over there in that little corner. <clears throat> all scared. It helps that we're making a lot of noise and so they're kind of scared and they're all just like super quiet, just like hanging out over in a corner. So we were having a meeting at church um, with a few people. Sorry about the glint. And we got a phone call during the middle of it and Sam apparently had a big, he was at work in a big bar from one of the sunshades that is in the cattle lots fell and smoked him on the back of the head and knocked him out. And, uh, but I don't think he's too bad, and I don't know, he may not want to be on camera. He's got a big scratch on his forehead and stuff like that. And I'm probably going to shave my beard, too. <laughs> Just because I can't decide. Should I or should I not? I don't feel like waiting for y'all to comment. I kind of just want to shave it off. I that's PM. We decided we were going to go camping tonight at 11.30. So, uh, we're uh, getting a few random things ready. Um, tea? That's not tea. Um, pink lemonade, but same difference. Hey, you, I need that. That is my mode of transport. Okay, you are not see, coming. I didn't see dots on there. Hey, he wants to go. What? He wants to go. Oh. Dos, should we go, or are you going to stay here? No, he decided to stay. actually changed my mind. Yeah, and uh, so I have to uh, figure out how to get all this to stay on here without uh, falling off. I'll probably just put it in front of me, I guess. Wait for it. This light is actually pretty sweet. Is it? Bing! This is just how I'm gonna ride, I guess. Um, yeah. Just kinda like this. And uh, this nice, bright light. Bing! So I won't hit any deer is kind of the idea. Well, now I'm down at the hunting, or the campsite, and I don't know how well you can hear all them frogs, I'm guessing really well, because there's a lot of them, and uh, they're making a fire here. We're enclosed in this really tall grass, and there's a four-wheeler right there, and one right here, and hiding. And then the bridge that we built is just down this path. And they're making a fire. I, I think if we find a chick, we need to burn it. Yeah, that's usually a good thing to do with chicks. There's a plant, and the smoke is uh, going right over me, so I will have no mosquitoes. Yes. Uh oh. The problem with sleeping out here is, um, there's bugs, kind of all over, but that's okay, because we aren't, and it's really muggy too, but, and I'm sleeping on stinging nettle, and there's a giant patch to my left, and Josh is, we brought hot dogs, and Josh uh, didn't bring any way to cook them, so, uh, that's what he's currently doing, putting green stuff on the fire. So currently I'm below you, but um, they're cooking uh, brats on the fire, and it's a midnight. No, I know they can't, but it's more like it's the or the they can see the fire flickering, and I'm just kind of flickering along in the bottom corner of the screen. But I'm here. Whoa.
Never mind. I really wish you guys could see the stars right now. They're awesome. But, there. I'm showing you the stars. How do they look? Yeah. Probably not very great. Well, it's like 7 o'clock, I think, and, uh, Josh already left, and me and Ben are just kind of still down here, and, yeah. We are going to Pizza Ranch for Josh's birthday, which was June 12th, so it was a while ago. We are going to finish up the day with a little bit of clay pigeon shooting. My hair, we were just on the four-wheelers, so my hair's pretty bad. But, I need a haircut. And, post in the comments below if you think I should shave my beard. I'm probably going to anyway. So you'll get to see what I look like without a beard. And I, many of you have, but you know. Pulp! Got it! I was going to just shred it up some more. I'm surprised I hit that. I don't have any more shells, so have to go get some more. I'm gonna try and vlog and throw these, okay? Josh and Ben, ready? Yeah, just hold that out and I'll shoot it out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's full. Nice. Okay, are you ready? Full. Nice. Shredded. Nice. They're doing pretty good. Ew. It's a deer carcass right here. I shot my string. I actually don't mind throwing. We're all done shooting clays and now I think they're going to do a duel. Which is basically whoever gets, you shoot these paddles and whoever gets all of them onto one side wins. And this is the problem we have right here. Watson, come. He is not scared of guns at all. Hey, Doss. Come on. He doesn't. Come on. Come on. Go. Go back to the guys. Wow, that worked out good. Fine. Get shot. Someone count us down. Um, Three, six, nine, go. And <laughs> off the stage. Come on. Go. Oh, that one won't move. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with Caleb. <laughs> that is going. Well, in the next video, I have some really cool, I'm, you may have heard of it, you may not have. It's called light painting, and uh, it is really, really neat. So, uh, you're just going to have to wait until the next video to see all that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and comment down below. I really should try and figure out something else to say. And I'll see you next time.